Hello and welcome back. Okay, so let's look at uh, saving this information. Now, for now, we're not going to care about the image. We'll do that a little bit later. What we care about is the text only. So, if I click Save Changes right now, it just refreshes the page and does nothing else. That's because we are not checking for any uh, for any saving here. Yeah, we are not. So what is important is let's check for, let's look at the single class uh, controller because we already have posting there, right? Then we can copy from it. Yes. Uh -huh. Now I've just realized here that um, we have no security on the um, add lecturer section so we should add some of that security here as well hmm. okay let me go to students instead let's see here this access we don't have that on the add lecturer and stuff Okay, so let me copy this and uh, let's go to profile edit. No, profile.php on the edit here. So I want us to deal with that after we've, we want to read the information from the user after we've edited it so that we can see the new changes uh, afterwards. So let's do this before this part. And then uh, let me go to where is this yeah this is all laziness with typing I don't want to type so that's why I'm looking for code that I already created and I can't seem to find any oh dread okay anyway uh, let's create some code here you'll say if count post like this is greater than zero and so both of these should be true and your access should at least be reception level and then we are good to go so we'll say something was uh, posted right there okay so what do we do with the posted data for now let me just copy this and just display the data just to see that we have the correct data here so I'll refresh the page resend and we have an error nice so what's the error here on line 78 it says unexpected token now syntax errors are the easiest errors to deal with because it just means it was a typing error so token line 78 so usually when there's something unexpected on a specific line it means the problem is on the previous line not on that line itself so because it's saying this line is unexpected which means the previous line didn't put something that was supposed to be there so this line 78 is unexpected why is that well in this case it looks like it's the issue of brackets so i didn't i don't have a closing bracket for the other side so cool resend yes of course so we have the data that we need and you see the passwords are empty which is nice but the other stuff is not so we can save this other other stuff and then we'll deal with password a little later so to save this is very simple let's just copy what we did in the sign up to save time so in the sign up we have uh, validate user yes we do have that we have validate user validate that is cool hmm okay so if validation went well uh, things are okay otherwise we have problems with errors so I'm just going to copy all of this here it looks like a good practice 
copy and come back to profile edit. Now we already have the user uh, class activated, so that's not a problem. Here I will replace this show with this code like this. So let's go through the code we've just added. So we're trying to get it to validate this post, that's okay. Then we add a date, but uh, we don't need a date. Nope, sorry. So let's remove that. And then we make sure that the access is reception, which we already have done. So let's remove this one right here. And let's push back like so. Okay. And then we want to make sure that the rank cannot be hijacked. So that's so good here. That's great. And then we just say insert post. Good. And then we redirect. Where do we redirect here? Do we go to students or do we go to... So at this point, we're going to the... Now, the reason we're redirecting to the same exact page. Now, the reason we want to redirect is to stop that thing where if we refresh, it's asking us, like right now, if I refresh, it's saying resend data. So we want to stop that by refreshing the page. So we just want to refresh here. So redirect will be equal to, uh, let's see here. This will go to profile like this, yeah? But then not just profile, but edit. And then with that edit, we need to know uh, the ID. Okay, so that is the user ID which will be right here. So let me copy that and paste it here, like so. Okay, cool. Looks like we are good. Otherwise, let's show some errors. Uh -huh. So let's see what the validation will complain about. So I um, just want to refresh this page, zoom out. And let me put some numbers in here and let's save changes. Okay, so we get our errors. Only letters allowed. That email is already in use. Password must be at least eight characters long. Hmm. Okay, so pretty cool. If I remove these guys, we get that email is already in use. Password must be at least eight characters long. So we have a conundrum here where the email is already in use but we are trying to check to see this is an edit right so in an edit if the email is already in use we have to figure that out we have to tell it to ignore the current id so let's see how the validation actually works here and we're going to do that in the models user model mm -hmm. so on the validate um, where is this check for email check if email exists hmm okay so this one is saying this where email and that mm -hmm. that email already in use Mm hmm I see here so the problem we have here is we need to tell it to ignore the current uh, the current email so validate now one way we can do this is to make sure that the validation data takes in uh, a second parameter here which we're going to call ID now, since we've already been using this validate function elsewhere, uh, it's going to cause errors if we just add another variable like this. So we have to make it optional and just give it an empty string or give it no. Or we can just give it no, false and... Uh... Actually, let's give it an empty string like so. That'll be better. Okay, so here we're going to say if this, now this is just not going to cut it anymore because 
we have two params now to deal with. We want to find the email where the ID is not like this ID right there. Now, the first thing is we want to make sure that we have an ID to start with. So here, I'm just going to say if trim ID is equal to an empty string. If it's an empty string, then let's do what we've been doing all along. So open that. Let's do this and I'll leave it be. Cool. However, if it has something else in there, then something else should be done, which means we have to take into account that ID. So we're repeating ourselves here. But on this portion, we can't use where we have to use query because uh, we have two things to deal with. So the first one will be the query and that will be select or uh, since we're not really using this data, we're just going to say select email from users because this is where the table is or instead of being so specific, what we would do is we're just going to say this table. Oops, like that. Okay. This table. So we're going to say select email from this table where email is equal to full column email like that but then we'll put an and id uh, id is not equal to and then we're going to add that id there like so okay cool Now here, uh, we'll create a, an array like so to have these two in there. So this array will be like this and an arrow, remove that. So this is the first item in the array. Let me close this. This um, bracket is for this one and this one is for that one. And then the second param we need is the ID and I will put a comma and, oh, not a comma, the fat arrow and put ID. Okay, so maybe you may want to rename ID to something more unique because we may have ID in here, but uh, it seems we are not using it, so that's okay. Okay, so let's see if we are still going to have this problem. So I'm going to say save. Okay, we still have the problem. But to solve it, let's go back to profile. Now we have the option to add an ID over here. And let's do that. Now the thing is the ID we have is the user ID. So we need to be able to use that instead. So let me come back to my query. And instead of ID here, I'm going to say user ID. Okay, cool. And then back here, I will add that second param here and just say um, ID like this, because this is what we are getting through here. Okay, cool. Let's do that. And you see the email disappears. Now, let's see if we can try to, um, to put somebody else's email in here. So Mary at... Gmail. So let's try and put Mary instead because this is somebody else's email. Let's try save and that email is already in use except our own email which is guy and it doesn't complain. If I put numbers let's see if you do know that this is not valid. Uh, it looks like it is a valid email like this. Let's do that. Please enter a valid email. Hmm. Okay, so this is going to work still since uh, it's a different validator that checks whether the email is valid or not. So it seems we are all good here. Let me just undo these guys here like this. 
save cool so the only part we're remaining with is the issue of passwords so let's fix that real quick and let me go to profile right here okay so what i want to do is remove the passwords if uh, from this if they are empty so i'm going to just say if password let's say password now i'm going to use trim here to make sure that i remove all trailing and leading spaces so if trim password is equal to empty string like this then what i want to do is unset the password thing so unset password like so and then unset password two as well like this cool okay so this removes the passwords from the list if they are empty this way that way we don't need to validate them at all because this validator will oh actually we have to do this before the validation so cut this out and let's do that right here so here we'll put um, check if passwords exist okay so the only time we excuse them is if they're empty if there's some text there then we have to validate them okay cool so here it means we're going to post without a problem so i'm just going to try and save array key password okay so it's telling me that uh, password does not exist where is it complaining from in the user.php models okay that's another issue here so let me come back to here uh, password 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 so here I'm only supposed to check for the password if it exists okay so password this password that all this should be inside an uh, if statement because I know that certain times it won't be there so I'm going to say if is set like so password like that and then I move let me duplicate this last part and then I move everything over add the opening bracket like so there we go so if it's set then we do that otherwise let's forget about it so let's save changes and you see now changes can be saved if I type two okay email is already in use really is it let's save changes that email is already in use so what wrong did I do we might have created a new row here so let's check it out and it seems we did okay so let's end here for now because the video is getting too long and let's fix this problem in the next video